Hi guys, how you doing? And we're in Kartika Plaza in Kuta and we're just gonna have a little walk around. Um, it is Friday morning, no it must be about midday now and the uh, place is quite quiet but uh, we'll see what trouble we can get into. Enjoy the walk! Crossover as the sun is slightly um, behind us. Ever so slightly, that is. Uh, no thanks, sir. How are you today? How much are they? 100. 100 for one day? All day. 100, okay. Yeah. Have a good day, thanks. Uh, tenner a day. I paid half that for my bike, which is twice as powerful. But then I rent it out per month. And I rent it from literally the best bike rental in all of Uvud. And that is Krishna's uh, scooter hire. Have a look at my previous videos about renting a scooter in, in Bali. Oh wow, this place looks pretty cool. Let's go and have a look at our menu. Wow. All right. I think I might be coming here for lunch. Nah, probably not. Let's have a look at the pulp. Can I have a look at your swimming pool if you don't mind? Thank you, sir. Well, I'll come and eat here, go and have a swim. You'd probably get some half good lengths out of this swimming pool. As long as it's not. I've seen so many massive swimming pools where I've got excited about swimming in, then realise that half of it is only like a foot and a half deep. That is pretty wicked. The rules of the main pool. That's brilliant. Okay, so I get inside track as I do. Thank you. Good to know. Oh, I thought I had uh parked up in the middle of the road. I think I've parked up on the on the end. Which means I'm going to cross over and head back. We're going to have a look at this place quickly. Oh. I've got a quick look here. Balinese dance. A Balinese dance is magnificent. Really is. Hello. In Uber they do the fire dance. I mean they do them everywhere really. But you get a lot an hour of that. It's uh, quite intense. How did they ever get an architect to design that and then decide to call it Eden? Isn't that weird? So I often wonder how people's brains think. You know, like things that go to market, you're like, how did that ever happen?
I had a calculator once. It was solar powered. I mean, we're, we're going back to late 80s now. It was solar powered, but also um, it had a battery so that, yeah, yeah, so that uh, it had a battery so that at night you could still use it. Sounds, sounds good. But it never had a, an off button. <coughs> so you would use the solar power and then at night time the battery would kick in and turn it on and then drain the battery so the next morning you just had a solar powered calculator and uh, the battery was flat until you got another one for a day Elephant in the room coffee <laughs> a great name starting to miss coffee not the actual drinking of it but the ritual of it the indulging about where you get a nice coffee from uh, I love Indian food that's why I got Indian ah, food that's why you got Indian food we have so many you do food. have so many yes. what do you recommend? this one oh. in, uh, Indian food we have uh, Chinese food oh, Okay, now Indian it, it would be all the way um, we'll have to come back thank you very much bye bye I do love Indian food. Oh, I was talking about coffee. Yeah, I don't actually miss the drinking of the coffee per se, but the whole ritual of making it, indulging in buying it, and of course thinking, oh, there's a new coffee shop, blah, blah, blah. Although when you're going to new towns, there's always new coffee shops. And uh, yeah, so, you know, as, as nice as Tumor, this is my friend. It's not as nice as turmeric lattes are. Um, you know, they don't rock like uh, like a good old coffee does. But again, like it, <laughs> it was the ritual of coffee that I loved, not the uh, the actual um, let's cross over. <laughs> Happy hour, that's a welcoming staircase, isn't it? Wow. Okay. Oh, no thanks. Massage and shoes? Yeah. Excellent. Look yeah, at these. So, a lot of these places, I mean, these are not original Nikes. But what they do is, it's pretty clever, is so that they're not fake, they get somebody to wear them for a day and then they're no longer original fakes, new fakes, if you understand what I mean. They're now used. It's quite clever. That's how they get around that. That's what you've got to explain to the customs. Okay, on with the tour. I wonder how long they'd last. I might buy a new pair of shoes. I've just bought a new power bank from a local phone shop while I was charging up my uh, Wi-Fi. And hello, yes, I'm awesome. And uh, cheers, dear. And um, but I completely forgot about whatever the rule is they have at some airport where they confiscate them. <coughs> it's a two, 2,700 watt, which is 2,000 milliwatts or something like that. That's what he was telling me, and that's okay. But of course, he would have said that. So, we don't know. Wow, look at this place. Ah, oh, this is what the, the road's named after. Partica Plaza Road we're on at the moment. That's quite colossal. So I said I'm going to have a walk around. That's quite a cool tree. I thought that was somebody calling.
holding me then. Cortica Plaza, this is. Ah, I might have to wipe the lens when I get past this. Definitely have to wipe the lens and my glasses. Well, I hope I did a good enough job there. Hello, sir. Can I go in and have a look around? Yeah. Can I go in and have a look around? Yeah. Thanks. I'm going to beep, aren't I? Yeah, thank you. Wow, that's quite awesome. Interesting feature. I trapped from the, uh, the walk of the street that I'm going to be doing. Do let me know whether you enjoy my tangents or not. Thanks very much. Well, that looks amazing. Wow, this take you long to make? Yeah. Five days. Five? Five days. Five days? Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. So, and that's probably about two two foot long that she's holding. Oh, that's stunning. Thank you. Oh, they do feel lovely. Tight. Tell me, Cassie. Reception. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.
What do you think, folks? Oh, it's on the other side. Barley Rani, this one's called. How are you guys doing? Bali, Bali, Bali. Bali. Yeah, Bali, Bali, hey, Bali. You alright? Just done my shoe up. Have yeah. a good day. Oh, thanks for having me on. See you later. I got it. I got it. But well, I've got to stop a second and do my shoe lace up. What a nice scenic view can I give you to look at? <laughs> That's no view. Yeah, that is a nice scenic view. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Watch traffic for a second, please, folks. Yeah, that's nice. Fancy riding a scooter in that traffic? It's uh, pretty, pretty crazy, let's admit. But also, a whole lot of fun. Well, Polo, Lao Floren. Indonesia that is. And Discovery Mall, wow. When I came to Bali, I looked at all the malls that there were, and half of them aren't on Google. I never came across this one. That's awesome. Hello. I shouldn't move the camera too quickly, I know. Spice Mantra. Hello, how are you doing? Spice Mantra, is it as spicy as your logo says? Thank you, have a good day. That's a nice little sports bar. Hello. Hello. Hi, hi. Miles away. Hello. Can I have a look around? Sorry to shout. Can I have a look around? Look around? Yeah. Oh. Is that okay? This way. This Thanks way. very much. Sorry. Sorry to shout. Okay. This is quite an awesome little sports bar. Hey. Uh, I walk around. You're right. Right, there's sand on the floor. Yeah. Is that a good sign? <laughs> okay, so they've got this place decked out like a, a beach bar, although it's literally 50 metres from the actual beach. And that is sand on the floor. And uh, yeah, so pretty good. They have live music here. And uh, is the food good? Good. Have a great day. And that looks like a pretty awesome place. Don't know what it's called. Let's have a look. Bamboo bar and grill. Looks like a good sports bar. Oh, water pump. 
want to come here when my friend comes in uh, in October. But I do wonder whether there's a weight limit. You know, I'm not as light as I used to be. But I am as agile. <laughs> right, let's uh, cross over and walk through this lovely looking mall. Oh, I'm a sucker for a good mall. You'll never beat the uh, Bangkok Siam shopping mall. That place is colossal. It's like eight stories high. And it's just so swank and just marble everywhere. And it's so swanky that they have their car showroom on the fourth floor simply because they can. And then the top two floors is like double, the top floor is double the height with a, um, a fountain, this massive fountain that must be, must be a hundred foot tall. And, uh, okay, now look around. Thanks. Oh, it looks pretty empty actually. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Bit of a ghost town. And um, yeah, Bangkok Siam. But the place is just lush. It really is. On every level. I mean, even the loos have um, have electronic seats. Yep, you heard it right. You go to the loo, and as you're approaching the toilet, the loo seat rises up automatically. So uh, quite interesting. heavy messages Yeah, good. You have a good day. Ah, chili bean. I, I uh, did a video of um, the one in Ubud. They've got some really funky, uh, really funky glasses in there. Sorry, the 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 shop, uh, the woman who was looking after, was sitting at the table with uh, everyone else. What do I expect? They've got two shops down a completely empty alleyway of this whole mall. So basically no one's coming down here. <laughs> you know, it would be in their interest if they could be bothered to uh, actually actually ask to be moved until they actually populate these shops. They've probably got a very good price. But what's a very good price when it's not getting you any customers? To the extent that the shop assistant doesn't even need to sit in the shop. Hey, you don't get this kind of view from many shopping malls, that's for sure. I have been here before. I remember now. I only went into this bit and it was as empty as that place. God, it looked like it was all that from the front, didn't it? It really isn't. We'll have a quick uh, walk around. It really doesn't take long. Let's have a look at the seafront. How you doing, sir? Yeah. You guys enjoying this? But do drop us a comment and let us know. I've also noticed that um, only 4% of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you do enjoy these videos, uh, please do like and subscribe. And uh, that'll inspire me to give you more better walks in the future. I am kind of trying to make each one better than the last. All oh, right. Am I okay to hello? Yeah. Yep. Sure, yeah. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. Have a good day. Thank you. I, I could have actually walked in from that side, so that note makes no sense. Why well, here? Yeah. That was so weird. I could have actually walked in. Um, anyway. Maybe I got it wrong. No, no, there we go. So I could have actually just walked through this way and got in through security. Yeah, by what's the point of security?
Oh, quite funky kitchens. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> Mitch, <laughs> what a great costume that is. What a great costume that is. Quite really vintage. Love the outfits. Do you? Yeah, really like 1920s. Oh, there's, there's another one. We're going to attempt a high five. This one, now that I know they don't have any arms. Uh, Bellagio. Looks very stylish. Other opticians. And now upstairs, there are three floors, if I remember. Three floors. Round one, two. So yeah, three floors in total. But the top two were quite empty. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go around them. Um, if you want me to, drop a comment and I will come back and do a video of this place. I think I might anyway. Um, I don't seem to get many views from my uh, shopping mall ones, videos, but they are slow growers. It's, it's weird. There's no spike to them, but there's, uh, they are being viewed over time. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Bye-bye. <laughs> he said goodbye. Bye-bye. Um, it's nice to have a change from uh, Ubud. I do miss Ubud though, I must admit. Um, but it's also nice. It's nice to have the banter that you get here. <laughs> What's going on here? I'm sorry, man. This is not good. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, that's. I think that's a. I think that's actually a local scam, actually, where they sell you tickets, and uh, and apparently you always win. But it will cost you something. There you go, three hundred. Three hundred thousand, yeah. He's won it. He's won it. Yeah, this is real. That's amazing. Yeah, three hundred thousand for a sponsor, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do believe that's a scam. Um, apparently you always win, but you've got to pay something to get something and it's going to be more anyway if any of you know about that drop me a comment Come on, guys, what are you f How are you, son? <laughs> All right. I've seen you. How have you? Oh, that's awesome. Have a great day. Okay. <laughs>
that's nice, I love that. Hello mate, no Rest thanks, got a bike up there somewhere. Somewhere. You alright guys? Oh, you can go here. That's it. Yeah, that's right. Man, that's awesome. Man, this tattoo was cool. Although in Thailand they do actually have billboards saying do not have the Buddha as a tattoo and especially do not have the Buddha as a tattoo on your foot because yes. in Thai, yes I say it's okay? Uh, no thank you Hello, how are you? and I'm good, uh, how are you? Good. and um and yeah so because basically in Thai culture the feet are considered very dirty so to have hello so to have um so to have a tattoo, hello ladies, miles away, uh, so to have a tattoo on um, of the Buddha on your foot is sacrilege. Now we're back at the uh, mini mart and, and there she is, hopefully without her tyres let down by the police. I hope you enjoyed that. How was that guys? Um, I hope you enjoyed that walk and until the next one, have a great day.